This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Miss Trudy Adams and Miss Melody. And we're uh, working on staying connected in the warm up. This is the eighth time we've asked Melody to even stay on the aids, on the bit, on the contact. And we've never done it before in the warm up. This is the first time, and we're getting ready to canter. This is the fifth time that Melody, we've tried to keep her connected at the canter, and the first time we've done it in the warm-up right away. So take your time. That's good. I like how you've got her shoulder way up. Take your time and let her make a lot of mistakes. When you feel she's sitting down is when you're going to ask her to canter, and that's exactly right what you have to do there. You've got to keep her connected first with your half haul. Push that. Remember, you're going to use your inside leg, inside leg and rein. Bump, bump, bump. There. Feel how the inside leg gives you activity? So the inside leg is what's going to keep her consistent in the canter. The outside rein and leg are going to keep her in the balance you're looking for. So Trudy's using half halts where she breathes in, lifts her chest up, brings her shoulder blades back, brings her seat forward and goes deep into her leg. That's it. Suppler on the outside. Use your inside leg. Bump. Suppler on the outside. Inside leg. Bump. Suppler her a lot more on the outside rein. Your outside rein is four inches too long. You can tell because her shoulder drops, right? So this is where you're gonna start locking up on the reins. You might have to do the two steps where you put her two steps on one rein and leg and two steps on the other. It's all right, we have never done this in the warm up. That was actually pretty nice, wasn't it? Oh, Melody's, oh, mom, <laughs> this is really hard. Good, take your time. You're just feeling how you can keep her in a different balance in the warm up now. There's nothing she can do wrong. You're just exploring how you can help her with your half halts and your inside leg. And Ren. You're just thinking more keeping the rhythm with the inside leg. Good. Take your time. Good. Inside leg keeps the rhythm. Outside rein keeps her softer in her neck so she lifts her shoulder up. More outside rein. Shorten your reins two inches. Yep. At the canter you'll need to shorten your reins so they're above the withers. She won't know how to do it. That's it. Praise her a lot. Praise her a lot. Too much inside rain. That's all right. It's all right. We don't care. Bring her into a balanced trot, and then you're going to ask her to canter again. Good girl. Melody's like, oh, you've got to be kidding, Mom. Take your time. Supple her. That's it. Have her sit back. She's got to pick up her back before she canters. Good. Soften her. It's all right. That's where your inside leg is going to tell her the rhythm. The rain, she it means to stop. Well, yes, because this is new to her. So that's normal. Because before, when you picked up the reins, it was to stop her, right? Or to slow down. But now what you're doing is you're asking her to seek the rain, not only in the canter for the fifth time, but in the warm-up canter. So you've got to back up your rein with your leg. That's why you use them together. It's all right. She breaks at the same place all the time. Not sure. Yeah, so you know when you get over to that corner, you need to ask her to move forward, right? Even if she throws her head up, when you get to that spot, you've got to ask her to canter more forward. Because she's picking that spot now. Or you can canter from that spot. Yep, she's saying this is really hard. It is really hard. To get a horse to step up in the connection of the rein from your legs is a big shift. Good. That's all right. Bump her with your inside leg to keep the rhythm of the canter. And we're just bumping right now just so she keeps cantering. It'll get to where it's not that. Yep, inside leg, inside leg, inside leg, bumper, praise her. Okay, now you'll notice the out, she's dropping her shoulder, right? So what do you have to do if she's dropping her shoulder? I'm trying to keep that rein short, but see, she breaks. Well, she will break a lot. Just back it up with your leg. Remember, she doesn't know how to do this, right? That's right. So that's okay. She's never, we've never really done this before and never at the warm up. So there's nothing she can do wrong. You're teaching her another way to do things. So anything she does, there's nothing she can do wrong. You just say, oh, well, I've still got another 998 times to practice it before she really gets it, right? So that's the way you look at it. Oh, well, she it's broke. Like the reins are too tight with those well, they, they do, but that's. But if, they're, if her head is up and she's sticking it out, you've either got to get her to step into the rein from your legs or you've got to supple her jaw, pull, and neck. So when, what she does is she pulls the reins out of your hand because she doesn't want to stay on the rein. 
because she doesn't know how to. See, that's all that's all that is. It sounds so simple, doesn't it? Good, just keep her shoulder up. Good. That's it. Praise her. Keep her shoulder up. Keep her shoulder up. Very good, Trudy. Keep her shoulder up. Inside leg. Inside leg. Keep her shoulder up. Outside rein. Try not to hang on the inside rein. That's all right. That's all right. Okay, that's enough. Do something different. One time around, change gait. That's it. Try to keep her connected because you'll feel that's where she drops you. So coming in and out of the canter, now you're really going to focus on trying to keep her connected. Notice I said trying. I never thought this side was worse than it really is. Well, she's saying that this side is worse. She's noticing. It doesn't matter which side is worse because this is, uh, this is like starting all over again. Every time you change your balance to go up in a level, it's like you start over again but in a different way. That's right. She's got to be more supple in her neck. Yep. Get her a lot more supple in her neck. Your reins are, are six inches too long. Yep, outside, keep your outside hand down. It's all right, just, it's all right, just play with it. Remember, it's a game, right? 995, right? She doesn't know how to do it yet, so how often is she gonna break? Who, you aren't, or she's not? Well, no, of course she's not. She would rather, she would rather go around like a hunter or a green horse with her neck sticking out and her nose up in the air, right? But that's, you're asking her to stay connected now. So she's going to say, why should I? I was doing fine the way I was going before. So encourage her, say, we can do this. Because she'll like it once she starts understanding it more. Supple her more on the outside. Praise her. It's all right. Bump her with your inside leg, inside leg, inside leg. Inside leg. Take your leg off when you're not using it. Remember, it's leg, let go, leg, let go. Don't keep a steady hold on your leg or your reins. Very good. Take your time. It's just a game. It's just a numbers game. There's no way she's going to get it right until you get like in your 700s, okay? So everything else is just chipping off pieces of sculpture so you can get down to where you're going. Take your time. That's it. Good preparation. Take your time. Melody was a very, very difficult horse. It's taken us four years to get her to this point. When I first met her, she couldn't canter. In fact, she couldn't pick up the correct lead behind at all. Her tongue was out. Her eyes would roll back. That's right. Just play with it. It's just a game because you still have 950 times to do it, right? So take your time. This is perfect what you're doing. Do you need a walk break? Yes. Good. Tell me what you're feeling with what you're doing with the canter right now. I don't know. It feels horrible in this direction. It feels fine in the other direction. Good. So one side, she needs more support than the other side. Yes, ma'am. Now, how many times have you, do you know how many times you've cantered with her trying to get her connected? No. This is the fifth session we've done it on. Okay. Have we ever asked her to stay connected in a warm-up canter? No, until today. Okay. Yeah, until today. We've never done it in the warm-up, have we? We've just kind of let her canter around like she normally does. Yeah. You know, like the green horse type of thing or whatever, her hunter thing, whatever it was. So that's a pretty big change for both of you. Take a little brain break.